at this point, when the price was near $59,000, we argued the price is going to go higher and hit a resistance. Which resistance? This particular trend line. Now you see that the price did hit that point. What next is the point? The real question then becomes, what should you be looking at? Now that's where you come back into your senses, saying if you didn't break that resistance, you should revisit the local bottom. Now, the local bottom is 57,800. So that's Bitcoin saying. Now, yes, at that point, you should also understand this is a macro pattern, a medium term range inside which the price is still hanging on to. The proper argument yesterday was made because of the price to volume. How does the price to volume look like today? For Bitcoin, for XRP, is the price action showing you something which it was already arguing? That's where the SF family comes into the picture. We talked about this possibility when the price was here. The argument was the price structure would look like this. And XRP just showed you it is looking just like that. So if you want to participate with 1,200 members for hundreds of different assets in the crypto market to be ready to ride the next wave, join the party. Use the link in the description below to reach the Scientific Investor family. Welcome to the Scientific Investor family, where the normal Retail guys get to learn how to become the next top 10% of this world. If you do break things down to see, okay, we did this. We did this. But what next for XRP? You can look at the XRP Bitcoin chart. You can look at the XRP chart itself. When you do look at the XRP Bitcoin chart, it is still in a position that it is consolidating but we didn't get a break to the upside or downside. Odds are that you may still follow back to the downside. Fine, we understand that. Now we look at the XRP USD chart. On a weekly, as I was arguing, the weekly candle close was not bullish last time. Yes, the candle closed with positive moves, but that does not show you it was bullish because we got rejected here. Now that we are traveling to the downside, next weekly candle close is very important. If you do see the candle closing somewhere close to the current price, 0.56 or below, that means the odds of price coming back down to 0.45 to 0.49 at least has higher odds. Now, why those different levels? If you do put a horizontal line at this support, you can see 0.49 is a strong support. If the volatility is not getting adjusted and you're going for the A, B, C, yeah, you may break the 0.49, you, know, you may literally come back down to 0.45. That is going to be the range. Now the question then becomes like, okay, how many of you are willing to watch that play out? Watch what play out? This. This is the macro trend line. If the price come back down to that range, it can touch 0.43. But that would be a perfect opportunity for a lot of people. So I don't expect the whales to give you that opportunity. It may come down maybe 0.45 but not precise at this level. Or they may confuse you by coming back down to 0.41, saying this trend line is breaking, but then bouncing back from there. Those are two things to look for. The RSI is already trying to make a double top, which is not positive, which means it's going to retest this range. While it retests that range, price can do like this. Now look at the altcoin market as a whole. Do you see similar movements there? Yeah, not on a macro chart. You'll have to start zooming in, say a daily. You go on a daily, you look at the price to volume. 
you see that there has been a lot of selling pressure in the last two daily candles. But the price didn't drop, which shows you buyers are taking on. Buyers are entering into this market. Okay, okay. Then we look at which side it can go. Right now, they're fighting inch to inch, showing at one point it's buying volume, at another point it's selling volume. So they are really neck on neck trying to push this to the upside. So bulls are not moving back, they are moving in. Even though the price is going down, total altcoin market shows you bulls are trying to enter. Let me come back down, you look through all of this phase and you see the volume was substantially similar, but you didn't break to the downside. Now, price structure wise, you have done the one, the two, the three, the four, and you need to see this. And that's way, if you're buying, you should be buying. That can be the buying range for a lot of altcoins in this market, which would then conceive, okay, I've done the real move to the upside here. I've made a local high and I'm moving back up. That would be the perfect idea. Now, say you go back on the macro, you want to visualize the same on a macro chart. You're like, okay, that move is making a proper base here, which is again positive because the RSI has been showing you bullish move. So if the RSI can revisit this trend line and bounce off, that is one of the perfect opportunity which you will get. Now look back at the history. We didn't get the perfect opportunity there. Eh? That's what I was arguing in XRP2. If you come back down to hit this trend line, that would be too easy for the retail to say, huh, that's a three-day chart. This is the opportunity I'm looking for. Let me go in. The whales may not always give you that. Sometimes they do this. They just make a higher low and bounce off. They don't give you the perfect price to buy in so that you fall more in afterwards. So what should you be looking for? Say you're a conservative guy. You're waiting for this breakout. That's all that you want. Which means if you're taking the total altcoin market and looking at it now, you're waiting to see the RSI break 51 or 52. If you're conservative, say 53, fine. At that point, you know the pattern is reversing. You're breaking back higher. The price is about to rally. Now, this is not one-time event. It happens every now and then. We have seen different types of movement in the market. Whenever you get a breakout day, maybe it's going to retest and bounce. In both ways, that breakout is what you're waiting for. And now say that's the total altcoin market. Different altcoins will react differently. Say you take a small cap coin in payment side. Say you are big in payments. You're looking at a small cap. Now what you're watching is that it is making a double bottom, which is a perfect thing to watch on a macro scale at the support zone. When you make a reversal signal at the support, that reversal usually plays out very well. Now, where is your resistance at that point? Your resistance is somewhat close to this range. So you need to see the price bouncing back up and breaking this trend line. Now, if you do look at the macro chart for this asset, all that this shows you is one thing. The price structure on a macro was trending lower, trending lower, then the momentum to the downside faded. It started pushing in to make a new high. Barely a new high, but it did. Then it grinded higher, broke all of this. Then you came back down. Now, do you remember any asset which showed you almost exactly the similar price structure before a big burst? Now, this is not in 2017, in 2021. Say you take up the price action of Dent. So you can take the same chart, it's okay. You come back here, you take a look at Dent, and it is arguing the same thing. The price was trending lower, then the momentum to the downside reduced, then it broke through that range and it came back down to make a 
bullish continuation pattern after which it started grinding higher slowly at the beginning and then boom it went up so if that's what you're watching in a lot of these small to medium cap assets there is something coming in for all of these assets and that's why i was saying see you look at dent itself in the current price structure and you see history rhyming or repeating you have similar price structure you go down you slow down to the downside then you barely make the high then you then make a new high consolidate into the same price structure so it's not one asset which is showing you watch for the assets which are showing you a bullish divergence the moment you see the price is going down but the rsi is going up so you have to take the rsi not the volume take the rsi and you see it's going up huh now you know something big is coming in for the asset it may make a revisit to this trend line but the burst to the upside is going to be exceptionally big that means these price action should be learned and understood correctly that's why in the sf family we're going through a lot of different assets a lot of them if you go into the si family right now as a visitor and you're looking at a lot of these posts you can see say maybe you only have one asset in your portfolio which you're confused about maybe it's chip maybe it's h bar maybe it's mdt now we can just pay for that just one and see huh does that work for me now in a week in a month or two you get to see whether that played out or not this is going to be the perfect opportunity right now when the market is building the bullish divergence so position yourself very well understand your expectation to the way you have designed your portfolio and if you need help use the link in the description to reach out and we'll go through we'll take a video call go through your portfolio discuss all that comes into my mind based on your portfolio so guys if you receive value smash that like button for me i'll meet you guys on next video bye for now